Hi everyone, I am Dr. G. Srinivas, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Minister of Aeronautical Engineering, Dindigal, Hyderabad. In this present video, I would like to discuss the problems in the question bank of module 5. The topic is vector integration and the paper or the subject is differential equations and vector calculus. And part C. Now see one by one. Define gradient of scalar point function. So before going to vector integral theorems or vector integration, we should know the gradient, divergence, and curve. So these are also important in vector integration to define. And it should be very clear. And what is gradient of a scalar point function? Already in the previous vector differentiation topic, we, de we defined all the gradient, divergence and curl of a vector point function. So once again, I would like to discuss this. This f bar is any vector point function. And phi is any scalar function. And del is the differential operator. Del is called the vector differential operator. What is del means? i bar dou by dou x plus j bar dou by dou y plus k bar dou by dou z. And del can be applied on both vectors and scalars. So we know that the del operator, differential operator in vector can be applied both vector point functions and scalar functions. If del applied on scalar function then it is called del phi or grad phi and which is called the gradient. Here phi is the scalar point function. The del phi is nothing but gradient phi. This is defined as i bar dou by dou x plus j bar dou by dou y plus k bar dou by dou z of phi. Or I can write this as i bar dou phi by dou x. Phi is a scalar function. It doesn't have any i bar, j bar, k bar terms. Plus j bar into dou phi by dou y plus k bar into dou phi by dou z. So this is called the gradient of the vector point function, the scalar point function. And the resultant is always a vector. Gradient is a vector. And it uh, defines in physical interpretation as it is a normal vector to the surface phi. Next, define divergence of a vector point function. Suppose if del applied on vector point function as a dot product, then it is called the divergence of f bar. It is denoted by di v f bar. Di v f bar is equal to del dot f bar, that is i bar dou by dou x plus j bar dou by dou y plus k bar dou by dou z. The dot product with f bar means it is a vector point function. Let it be f1 i bar plus f2 j bar plus f3 k bar. So what is the dot product? i bar dot i bar 1, it is dou f1 by dou x, first term. i bar dot i bar 1, dou f1 by dou x. Second term, dou f2 by dou y, because j bar dot j bar 1. Next, last term, dou f3 by dou z, and it is a scalar function. It is a scalar value. So the divergence is also a, always a scalar. The gradient is always a vector. The divergence means it is the rate of outflow per unit volume at the point of origin of the fluid. That is the physical interpretation of divergence of the vector. Similarly, if del applied on a vector point function f bar as a cross product, then it is called curly f bar. Curl f bar means del cross f bar. So both are vectors. It can be defined by using the formula i bar j k j bar k bar first row determinant of dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z. In del i bar coefficient dou by dou x j bar coefficient dou by dou y k bar coefficient dou by dou z. In the last row f1 f2 f3. On an explaining what we will get i bar into dou f3 by dou y minus dou f2 by dou z. Dou f3 by dou y minus dou f2 by dou z. 
minus j bar into dou f3 by dou x minus dou f1 by dou z plus k bar into the last row dou f3 by dou x minus dou f1 by dou y and it is a vector point function always. The curl is always vector, the divergence is a scalar, the gradient is a vector point function. So, it, the application is, it will use the relation between w bar and omega bar and v bar, where omega bar is the angular velocity and v bar is the velocity of, suppose if any body is rotating about the fixed axis and w bar is the angular velocity and v bar is the velocity at any point p x comma y comma z, then w bar v bar relation will give the curl of the vector point function. Next, I am coming to the state Laplacian operator. Already in the previous video also we discussed these things because these are important in both chapters. Laplacian operator. The Laplacian operator is denoted by del square which is nothing but del dot del. Del means i bar dou by dou x plus j bar dou by dou y plus k bar dou by dou z dot product with i bar dou by dou x again del plus j bar dou by dou y plus k bar dou by dou z. The dot product i bar dot i bar 1 dou square by dou x square dou by dou x dou by dou x dou by dou x of dou by dou x dou square by dou x square and dou square by dou y square second term plus third term dou square by dou z square and this can be applied on scalar functions or vector functions. It is called the Laplacian operator. This is called the del square is called the Laplacian operator which is the dou square x by dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square. Now state Stokes theorem of transformation between line integral and surface integral. State Stokes theorem. So Stokes theorem is an integral theorem, vector integral theorem, which is the relation between line integral and surface integral. So it gives the relation between line integral and surface integral or you can see here the transformation between line integral and surface integral. It gives integral over S del cross A bar dot N bar into dS into the line integral around the boundary of an open two-sided surface. It is an open two-sided surface. It is x-axis, y-axis, z-axis and uh, the surface is like this open two-sided surface. Then the line integral along this boundary of the open two-sided surface. Line integral means how we will get integral f bar dot dr bar around the closed curve C is equal to del cross f bar. What is del cross f bar? Curly f bar. And n bar, n bar is the unit outward normal vector dot n bar dot ds. So here into ds, we can calculate so, curly f bar dot n bar into ds, where ds is the surface area of the given re, given surface s yes, and it can be evaluated by considering the projection of this region on yz plane or xz plane or xy plane, zx plane or xy plane. So, by considering the uh, projections either on xy plane or yz plane or zx plane, we can evaluate integral over uh, s curly f bar dot n bar into ds. So, before that, define the surface integral of a vector point function f bar. What is the surface integral? Suppose if s is the any surface area of the region volume bounded by the surface s yes, and it is x axis, y axis and z axis and f bar is any vector point function which is defined on this surface f bar is any vector point function, let f bar be any vector point function defined on the surface S yes. and n bar is the unit outward normal vector, then surface integral is f bar ds bar. Suppose if you divide, the suppose if I consider a surface, 
I divide the total region into subregions. Subregions and uh, the each area I consider delta S1, delta S2, so on, delta Sn, and this is the area delta Si and uh, whose outward normal vector is n bar or ni bar. Then integral and ds bar is the vectorial area. Delta S i bar is the vectorial area of the small region delta S. Then the surface integral is defined as integral f bar dot ds bar. Where ds bar is the vectorial area of the surface S and which can be written as n bar into ds. f bar dot n bar into ds. This is n bar into ds. A unit outward normal vector multiplied by ds. So this is can be calculated f bar dot n bar. By considering the projection in xy plane, the ds will be dx into dy by magnitude of n cap dot k bar. So these are all the short uh, short term questions. Just I am giving the definition, I'm not going in depth because it is only the definition. So this is the surface integral integral f bar dot ds bar. Similarly, define a volume integral on a closed surface s. Yes. So this is integral f bar dv. What is the volume integral? Integral f bar dv. Integral f bar dv, how you can calculate? f bar is the given vector point function. f bar dv or integral f div f bar dv or integral del cross f bar dv. These are all the volume integrals of the given. Suppose similarly x axis, y axis, z axis. Consider the a surface bounded by the volume b. And it is the origin 0, 0, 0. Then, and f bar is any vector point function which is defined on the surface S yes, and uh, it is a continuous vector point function. Then the volume integral is defined as integral del cross f bar dv or integral f bar dv, integral div f bar dv. All of the volume integrals. The volume integrals will be have the dv means it is length, breadth into height, dx into dy into dz. And in this case, you have to take the triple integral. That is the volume integral. The volume of the surface with respect to some vector point function. Similarly, Green's theorem. State Green's theorem of transformation. Green's theorem means it is a relation between line integral and double integral. Line integral and double integral. So, how I can say that let R be a closed region in XY plane. Let R be the closed region. I can write okay. So in x y plane that is enough. X, x, x axis, y axis, and I'm considering that let R be a closed region in x y plane bounded by a simple closed curve C. This region is the capital R, and this region is bounded by the curve C. Bounded by the curve C. And if m and n are continuous derivatives in R, if m and n are continuous derivatives in R. Then integral over the closed curve C, m dx plus n dy is equal to double integral over the region R dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y dx into dy. This is integral over the closed curve C, m dx plus n dy is equal to double integral over R dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y dx into dy. The C is traversed in the positive direction, anti clockwise direction. This is Anti clockwise direction, right? This direction will be anti clockwise direction, traversing in the positive direction. So, the green in, Green's theorem is the relation between line integral and double integral. And the surface integral also, line integral and the surface integral. We already have seen that the line integral, this is line integral and surface integral. It is the line integral and double integral. Double integral means integral. Q dou n by dou x minus dou it is having dx dy only. There you have f bar dot n cap into ds. That is called the surface integral. Similarly, Gauss divergence theorem. Gauss divergence theorem is the relation between surface integral and volume integral. So, what is the formula? Integral div f bar dv is equal to integral f bar dot n bar into ds. This is the relation between the volume integral and the surface integral. So, where f bar is the vector point function defined on the region, yes, and v is the region bounded by the surface, yes, and n bar is the unit outward normal vector 
then the relation is integral dv f bar dv over v is equal to integral f bar dot n bar into ds. So that is the Gauss divergence theorem. So what is the surface area of the surface? Yes, whose equation is f of x, y, z is equal to 0. That is f bar dot n cap into ds. That is the surface area. f bar dot n cap into ds. Let's find the surface area of the plane x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 12. This is 0, 0, 0. And the plane is given x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 12 or x by 12 plus y by 6 plus z by 6 is equal to 1. That means what? x intercept is 12 comma 0 comma 0, y intercept 0, 6, 0 and z intercept also 0, 0, 6. So this is the plane. This is the plane bounded by the coordinate axis bounded by the coordinate axis because it is a tetrahedron. Here you can observe that this is the three axis and bounded by the plane. So we have to find the surface x0, 0, 0 y, g, y, x0 to 1, y0 to 1. Just I will explain, we will do the problem. Here x0, uh, 0 to x0, 0, y0, zero, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. So we have to find the surface area of the plane not uh, line integral. Surface area means what you have to calculate? That is surface area integral f bar dot n cap into ds. So first you have to find the unit outward normal vector for this vector. That means what this is let this phi and find grad phi. Then magnitude of grad phi to evaluate. Then what is n cap grad phi by magnitude of grad phi? That is what? Unit outward normal vector. Here f bar is not given. Just you have to find the surface area. Surface area means you have to find this area and this area and this area and this area. That you can calculate without this f bar dot n cap. There is no vector here. Just you have to find the surface area cut off by the lines x0 y0. x0 means x0 means y z plane. X, this is y axis, this is z axis, this is y z plane and uh, x1, y1, x1, this is 1 comma, 1 comma x1, x is, it is 12, x1 and y also 1, y also 1, cut off by the, the surface area of the line cut off by this one, the area, this area you have to calculate, x0, y0, what is when x0, y0, z is equal to 6. Next. Evaluate the line integral along the parabola y is equal to x square. Along the parabola y is equal to x square from 0, 0 to 2, 4. Along 0, 0 to 2, 4. So y is equal to x square from 0, 0 to 2, comma 4. I will write here y is equal to x square means this is the parabola. 0, 0 and it is x axis, it is y axis. y is equal to x square. This is the parabola symmetrical about y axis. 0, 0 this is. It is somewhere. It is 2, comma 4. So we have to find the line integral along this line. So what is the line integral? Integral. So in all the cases, f bar is missing. So there is some data is missing. F bar, f bar is to be there. F bar is in this problem also. F bar is missing. So here also f bar is missing. Suppose if f bar is there, some function x y i bar plus y z j bar. Let us assume that z x k bar. Then the line integral itself, which is defined as f bar dot dr bar along the curve C. The curve is parabola given it is y is equal to x square from 0, 0 to 2, comma 4. So there is a, some uh, correction should be made in the present time. So just I write as it is. So no f bar is given. So later I will discuss f bar. If f bar should be there. Suppose if f bar is like that, then what is dr bar? dr bar is, so there is no z term here. 
because the function is defined in x y plane f bar is equal to x y i bar plus x square j bar suppose if you assume like this then dr bar is dx into i bar plus dy into j bar then what is f bar dot dr bar f x y dx plus x square dy that is the function so from the curve from 0 0 to what we have to calculate from 2 to 4 0 0 to 2 comma 4 we have to find the line integral along the curve c along this curve we have to calculate if f bar is there if you assume f bar is like that then i am telling the procedure dr bar is dx i bar plus dy j bar then f bar dot dr bar is this x y dx plus x square into dy then suppose if the given curve is y is equal to x square then what is the dy that is 2x into dx so i can substitute x into y means x square dx as it is x square again as it is dy means 2x dx the y limit is 0 to 4 xy xy 0 to 4 or y limit so not 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 y limit x limit because all the terms converted into x terms this is 0 to 2 so integral what you have to calculate integral 0 to 2 x cube dx plus 2 x cube dx 2 x cube dx that is 3 x cube dx between 0 and 2 that is equal to 3 x power 4 by 4 between 0 and 2 right so 3 by 4 into 2 power 4 that is 3 into 16 by 4 or this is equal to 4 so in this way we can calculate the uh, line integral so for any line integral you need f bar f bar is the function vector point function which is defined on the vector in the line in the given line, the, the line parabola, part of the parabola, if there is any vector point function, it is defined on the line, then the line integral will be defined as f bar dot dr. So, as, as f bar is not given, I assumed f bar as another function, then find f bar dot dr bar, and this is x y dx plus x square dy, and so that I am taking the limits from x limits 0 to 2 here, y 0 to 4. Because all terms have been calculated in the terms of x, we have to take the limits from 0 to 2. So, with these few problems, uh, I would like to conclude my session. And uh, these problems are taken from the question banks of the course differential equations and vector calculus and uh, published by ARE. And it is the regulation is BT23. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.